Welcome, welcome, welcome again to Fuse welcome Unbutted, today. your favorite Hello. show. This is where we keep you up to date with every and anything happening on the globe. That's my right. name is Madichi, and of course, I'm here with the gang. Gabby Gabby in the building. Uh -huh. Holla, holla, so daddy, ABA Kings here. What's going on, boo? All right, so we have so much to talk about on the show, but we're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, more tea for you. I used to care for the world's opinion. Next. I used to fear their rejection. I used to beg for validation. And I used to wait to be seen. But the fire that burned in me was hotter. And the passion that lived in me had a voice of its own. So I stopped waiting and started to act. I stopped fearing and started to live. And when they thought I'd fail, I stepped into my power. Because my power is now. I'm still mortar. Be your best. Fuse Unbothered. Welcome back, guys. This is C Fuse Unbothered, brought to you by our front and personal. First off, we want to talk about the saga with this Nigerian artist that has refused to hear a word. Hmm. I'm talking about Portable, all right? Portable has gotten himself in a deep mess, all right? He has not learned how to bridle his tongue. And finally, hmm. this might be the bench or this the might climax. be what, this might be the climate this might be what will break the camel's back mm -hmm. i believe so because portable made a couple of statements that has indicted him to the atrocities that were committed by the one million boys mm. during the uh, pandemic during mm. uh, yeah, the lockdown pandemic period, period. Yeah. Mm. and the, the atrocities are so numerous and very very you know crazy so he made a couple of statements on the video he posted mm. on social media mm. talking about how i mean he was literally he was literally identifying with these people mm -hmm. and I'm talking about how he was part of the people that set these guys up mm -hmm. and was one of them mm -hmm. and called a couple of people when I have name names do you understand of, he was calling people, he was right? calling a couple of socialites mm -hmm. called Abu Ibel called Sam Larry mm -hmm. called uh, yeah he called Ayu Bidendi but I mean Sam Larry has come out to debunk and told him to he was very I furious mean, yeah. yeah it was very very furious but, because I mean he was he was like why are you staining my name yeah. why are you bringing down my reputation yeah. don't yeah. you know what you just said mm. is quite an indictment and all the police the IG uh, already ordered for an investigation on the statement that this guy made mm -hmm. and by portable it, also, also, actually, also, don't you think it's funny that just Sam that has come out to talk about about it hmm. why has i feel like every other person knows who put boy they feel like okay this guy is just probably catching crews mm -hmm. even though it feels like a dent to their name but mm -hmm. the fact that only sam has come and talk about it is still very surprising. well it's a, it's a big deal because if you heard what sam said sam said you know the police are already calling him mm -hmm. so i mean this is not a joke anymore yeah. we know portable and you know a lot of times just like you know as happened with the headies you know they issued out a warning oh we don't like this retract your statement but we see that a lot of times people don't take him very seriously right mm -hmm. but now if the police is saying that we're taking this seriously and we're doing an investigation i feel like it's even normal for everybody whose name was mentioned if they are not guilty if they're not actually attached to that, you know, cult group to come out and debunk it as quickly as possible. As possible. It's not the time to be quiet and say Potable is catching crews. Yeah. If you know you're not involved, come now out. that it's become a police investigation, yeah. you know, a matter of police investigation, come out and see, I'm not. So I think Sam has come out and said it. He also shared um, a, a screenshot of his chats with Potable where Potable was asking for forgiveness, mm -hmm. saying, oh, I'm sorry, you know, in our crews. Mm -hmm. And in my head, I'm like, how much crews can can come from one person? Yeah. Like, said, like how much crews not been able can to come learn from how to one? His tongue. You know, a while ago, a couple of uh, entertainers and celebrities in the industry already said that this guy needs mm -hmm. um, rehab. Well, I feel like we keep rehab. saying it. He needs okay, okay, but it's not, nothing has been done yet. Why? Because he he has literally, um, what's it called? He literally stains anybody that associates themselves. But well, we have people manage him now, right? Uh, uh, he, uh, there's no face to his brand apart from himself. Yeah, exactly. So at some point, he had it back and forth with the first person that Promoters tried to pick him up, which is Kobagi. He had issue with Pokoli. Mm -hmm. So it's it's been a, a serial trend. Of anybody that associates themselves with him, mm. it gets it gets a, um, an issue. It gets into into yeah. an issue with them. Mm. First, it was Pokoli said you don't rip me. Kobagidi said you rip me. Um, Danku 
Danku, he got in an issue with Danku. He got in an issue with. Uh, he, he's just a bundle of drama and trouble. And when some time ago, Dotson came out to say that this guy needs and people, uh, this guy needs therapy. He needs uh, rehab. I beg your pardon. And you know, some people are like, oh, Olamide is not going to help anybody again. But let's. I mean. You know a couple of people that all I'm Oh, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. there was, there's been a Dekun Lego, there's been Like, there's been a couple of other people. And Dr. Kim also, also talk about the fact that as much as, yes, he was brought to limelight by Badu Olamide, doesn't necessarily mean whatever he, whatever is happening now should yeah. be laid, I mean, laid, laid yeah. or laid yeah. on Olamide. Yeah. Of course, he was just that. being I mean, yeah. himself. People he saw a talent and yeah. he was trying to help, you know, put that talent mm-hmm. out there. So, I mean, he's not going to be responsible for that person's actions and, you know, lifestyle. Do, I mean. Exactly. Do you think this would, this would be the last of it? Last of what? Hmm. Portable. No, yeah. to be honest, I feel like this is going to be the last of it. Of what exactly? I think of this drama that comes from him. Maybe he'll finally learn his lesson. You yeah. know, I feel like he needs a big issue to learn his lesson. Because right now, people are already calling brands that he's working with to drop him. Yeah, yeah. And that's big. That's really big. Exactly. Because that's, mm. that's crazy, yo. Mm. That's crazy. Mm. And yeah, I hope this will be the one that will make him learn. <laughs> Tina, share happiness. Views unbothered. Anyway, still on celebrities. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it's, there's some sort of entitlement mentality as to how a celebrity should behave or how a celebrity should act. Uh-huh. So recently, um, popular. What should I call her now? Get you blessing. Yeah. Actress, popular actress influencer. Right, influencer she came out to talk about how um most times when the, when actresses or actors speak up they're usually not taken so seriously but now it's like okay election has come and then i was speaking up about politics but now people feel like it's still a joke like we've seen a couple of celebrities come out to talk about how they want to was she talking about yeah. female female Entertainers. No, 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 no let's just talk about like entertainers, entertainers in general. In general. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like when they come out to speak out, for instance, now a lot of celebrities have come out to talk about, okay, who they are going to vote for in the upcoming election yeah. and all that. And we had a lot of people talking about, oh, do you think this is a joke? Do you think this is acting? They should go and sit down. Mm-hmm. So her point is, if we don't talk, there's a problem. Now that we're talking, it's still a problem. problem. What do you want from us? You can never satisfy everybody, all right? Some people, not, it's not possible, all right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're living in a human race, not aliens. Yeah not everybody's a zombie you get me so not everybody would go according mm. to what you think your perspective of life life is all about opinions and perspective views you get me not everybody will take you seriously but you do you regardless all right i feel mm. like as entertainers and as celebrities who has decided who has decided to be in the public space mm. i mean you're you're identified as a public figure you should grow a thick skin to be able to see what you need and what you don't need all right if you if you, you're going into politics be ready for criticism mm. Mm. Be ready for jabs. Mm. Be ready for the good talks. Be ready for hypocrisy. Okay, so the question yeah, is, so what do we now? What do we want from these celebrities? Anyway, like, um, so I kind of understand what Nkechi was saying. Nkechi was basically saying that you know how you know they come out and they say, oh, maybe there's a, a problem happening in the society. Yeah. people are pressuring the celebrities. You haven't said anything ag- exactly. you know, about this. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know, we need to hear your voice. You know, mm. when there are protests and all of that. But it, she's now even saying that beyond those things, we now have celebrities that say we're not just going to even speak. We're going to be about involved. it we're going to be involved mm. in politics yeah. in the decision making and everything and then when they try to come in this it's same people joke. exactly it's this same people are joke. saying you not that you're an actress yeah. you're a comedian what are you doing exactly. you know, in politics mm-hmm. you think there's a or have they you? paid you to exactly. do so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know so for me though she even went ahead and mentioned how um, Funke Akin Deli you know is um, going in into for, politics yes, and it's as like deputy governor of Lagos State mm-hmm. you know and many other you know celebrities we also know about Banky Bank W who went into politics initially we saw that you know he received a lot of resistance from people people didn't take him seriously the first but time yeah. Yeah. yes but now he's gaining acceptance we also have people like um, Desmond Elliott you know from the Coming past all, let's not go <laughs> 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 you know and um, people were happy I, I think when it was his own turn you know at that time people were happy to see mm-hmm. you know him going to politics Danger. up until the NSAS you know protest and some of the you know things Comments that happened around mm-hmm. yeah. yes that period so I think it's great we should encourage them more she even when, not- I, when I had to mention that these are educated people yeah. so it's not just you know some random person trying to get into politics it's or someone trying who, to get more fame or yeah. cloud yeah, chasing exactly. and all of that yeah, we know their source of yeah. yeah we know their thank you we yeah. know their source of income some they of these have, people have a back also, traceable story yeah, yeah. yeah. some yeah. of these people also have like success you know we've seen their work ethics in you know in their creative work yeah. we've seen 
what they can do. Yeah. So we can also sort of trust them. I, I, I also want to chip this in. Yeah, when we see an entertainer that or someone in, in the entertainment industry who wants to go into politics, it is not for us to downplay their effort and castigates them mm. because people have been doing that to Caroline Danjuma recently yeah. I Pegged think she, on being a celebrity yo mm, you get me she just I think she was just nominated to be uh, yeah. one of the running mates for Delta yeah. State but you All know right. what we'll go to show break right now when we get back we have more tea just like Madichi would say we have more tea for Please you guys do. stay with us we'll be right back I used to care for the world's opinion Next. I used to fear their rejection I used to beg for validation and I used to wait to be seen. But the fire that burned in me was hotter and the passion that lived in me had a voice of its own. So I stopped waiting and started to act. I stopped fearing and started to live. And when they thought I'd fail, I stepped into my power. Because my power now. I'm still mortar. Be your best. <laughs> Motina. Share happiness. Feels unbothered. Welcome back, guys. Uh, still feels unbothered. We've talked about so many things, right? Talk about celebrities, you know, talk about getting into politics mm-hmm. and all that. You know, but we can never do so much talking without talking about relationships. Relationships nah. is a big deal. It's a big deal because everybody Yo. wants to, everybody wants to get, you know, paired up, mm-hmm. right? So, um, let me ask you. You guys. want to get paired up? I do. Everyone Ooh. wants to, right? You guys hearing that? <laughs> so, let me ask you guys this, right? Do you, do you think you can date someone or marry someone who earns more than you? Like, as a guy, mm. AB, do you think you can date or marry someone who earns more than you do? As a guy? Yes. If I can be with a babe that ends less, should I say no, less no, no, for Amy? No, no, should I ask it as less or no, more? No, if it's less, you definitely know that's a no brain answer. Okay, okay, so more, understand? more, so more than me. Actually, mm. I can. Okay, all right. If what I'm earning is is uh, very comfortable enough for mm. me to, is very um, sufficient, I beg your pardon, yeah, enough for me to live a comfortable life mm. and afford the very basic and necessary things and do the necessary things still perform my obligations as a man mm. i think don't mind, right? i don't mind okay. I, I honestly don't mind because hmm. like it, it, it's it's only if i have a, a um, lack of confidence or low self-esteem that mm. it would be that an issue bother you. or it will bother me do you understand it's still a plus because i mean if we decide that we are married mm. i mean we would have discussed finances also yeah so okay can i date or marry someone who and less. Less. it's gonna be less and less yes okay. i will ask you more so for me i feel like it depends on the person's mm. maturity and transparency level so to yeah. say, I mean, if we've been talking, we've been on a talking level for a couple of times, I should be able to decipher if this person is going to be transparent. So if, if I'm dating someone who is very transparent, then I feel like it's going to be easy for me. Mm-hmm. But if I start asking you questions about finances and you're going all oh, like you're insecure about mm-hmm. it or something, or I tell you, okay, this is what I'm earning. And you're looking at me like, mm, mm, you're feeling insecure. Yeah. It's going to be a no, no for me. But if you're matured, why not? Me, I want to be mm, a baby boy. It. I want to take care of me. <laughs> wow. So what's your me. opinion, guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for me, pretty much what you said, I can actually date someone who ends less less than I do, provided that that you take up a reasonable form of responsibility. Don't say, oh, I end less. Sorry, Uh I leave you. If you know, you have to still step up. Always put it up your face that you end more, so you should take care of the You have to still be responsible regardless. That makes sense. Yes, and provided that you end something that's you know reasonable, Mm -hmm. right? So I mean, Mm -hmm. you can work that way. So that's it, you guys. I mean, (laughs) all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. On Fuse and Butter. Don't forget to join the conversation on YouTube at The Fuse, on Instagram at Fuse Local. Follow me on all social media platforms at underscore Madichi. Find me on Instagram at Gabby.Gabby. Look over me on Instagram at AB underscore AKYNZ, baby. From all of us here in the studio, guys. Save Save you, guys. guys. Hello. Upfront and personal, world class business, world class consultants.